Shalom Aleichem, everyone. Baruch Hashem, we're super happy to have this uh, wonderful privilege to spend time in our lives and um, focusing on Torah learning, educating and reminding our souls, educating and, uh, and uh, trying to purify our bodies while reminding our souls what, uh, what really we're all made of. Um, we'll read Torah number 100 from the second part of Likute Moran. It's uh, the book that's been written by Rabbi Nachman of Breslev, Torah Kuf. And Rabbi Natan, the main student of Rabbi Nachman, who wrote the Torah of Rabbi Nachman for him and printed the Likute Moran, said, I heard he wrote in the Torah, I heard that he said, means that Rabbi Nachman of Breslev said, that the smallest person and the greatest one, both of them cannot be a truly kosher person, just if they will have hit bodedut. So kosher person means righteous person, honest person, pure person, with good heart that is not sinning, that is not doing bad things. If you are small or if you are great, means if you are a known, famous, righteous man, or if you are a very small person that no one knows you, or if you are super wealthy and rich, or if you're just like simple and, and poor, no matter who you are, you cannot straight your path and become a righteous man until you have a personal prayer slash hit bodedut personal prayer with the creator and he was mentioning few of true real righteous people when explained and said that all of them came to their high level that is known to all by nothing else except for by hit bodedut by that individual prayer and then he said also that person, and he mentioned a certain person who was one of the grandchildren of the Baal Shem Tov. The Baal Shem Tov was the great-grandfather of Rabbi Nachman of Breslev. And on him, the, the, an, another grandson of the Baal Shem Tov, he said on him, that he was a very simple and honest person, he said, also him. He's talking every once in a while in front of Hashem Barach in great cry. He's talking to the Creator in great cry. He's talking to Him from the heart, sharing and, and, and speaking and opening His heart completely with Hashem. And He said that the grandchildren of the Baal Shem Tov, that they are from the branch of King David, may peace be upon his soul, and are all used to that. They're all used to prayer. Like that King David, that he himself was focusing on that, on individual prayer very much, that he was breaking his heart a lot in front of Hashem Barach, in front of the Creator, always. And that is the main part of the book of Psalms, of Tehillim, that he established, like that it's written in another place. So, we see when we read Tehillim, the songs and prayers of King David, we can see over there that those amazing prayers are the prayers, the individual prayers of King David. For us today, we want to say Tehillim, we want to repeat what that King David said in the book of his songs and prayers, requests and praises, and, uh, and, and, and his expression of his emotions, but that even though that that thing is a very important thing and great to walk in that path that King David established for us and to enjoy the fruits of his labor, that's only one aspect to what we can do with that book of Tehillim. Because in a deeper level, we can also learn from King David what was King David himself doing when he composed and wrote that book of songs and prayers. Because for him, there was no book to read from. He was not saying Tehillim, he was not reading the Psalms, he was expressing his heart in his individual prayer. 
And the prayers that he liked the most, the ones that came out very nice to his mind, to his eyes, he wrote them down. Or that someone else that heard him saying those, he wrote them for him. But generally, those were the individual prayers, simple conversations of King David with the Creator, like a child that is speaking to his parent, to his father. Therefore, we need to learn from that, that the best way to pray to Hashem, and that is also the obligation that the Torah is teaching us and guiding us to pray in front of Hashem, like our ancestors were doing, Avraham and Sarah, Yitzchak and Leah, Yaakov, Rachel and Leah, um, Yitzchak and Rivka, there are stories on them, how they were standing and praying, everyone to his angle, everyone to another angle, praying and talking to Hashem. Everyone was opening their hearts and sharing and talking and, and expressing their feelings and requesting and, and, and repeating their requests over and over. Like we can see that Avraham woke up in the morning. They did not have a cedar book to read prayers from. They were not reading from the, the scripts. They were expressing their feelings and their hearts in front of Hashem. Avraham woke up in the morning and Hashem revealed to him a decree that is about to come, that fire will go down on Sodom, Sodom and Amorah. He wanted to destroy those couple of cities and the valley that they were at because people were sinning in horrible ways. They were doing weird things that cannot be heard and of course not appropriate even to mention abusing people, killing people, murdering, like torturing and raping people with no end, kidnapping and um, horrible, horrible things they were doing. And the Creator could not stand that horrible behavior and decided to destroy that piece of land, that part of, of earth and all people that were there. Avraham realized that that is what that is about to come, started to open his heart in front of Hashem and talk to him over and over. Please Hashem, have mercy. Maybe there are 50 people over there. Hashem answered to him, all right, if I'm going to find 50 righteous people, I'm going to forgive the whole city, the whole area for them. So Avraham said, oh man, what have I just done? Maybe there are 40. Please Hashem, maybe if there are going to be 40. And all that conversation, Hashem answered him, all right, all right, if they're going to be 40, I'm going to forgive them. And Avraham is saying, no, but please listen, if they're going to be 30, and if they're going to be 20, and if they're going to be 10, you see from that that it's an honest conversation of a person that is standing in front of the Lord and talking and talking his heart out with no end. On Moshe Rabbeinu, it's written that there was no dot in the sky that he did not send prayers towards. And in the book of Tehillim from King David, we can see requests on requests and please Hashem, I'm cold and I'm hungry and I'm afraid and I don't know where to go and what shall I do and what can I do and what will happen and please protect me and I regret and I messed up and it was my mistake. And all those requests are coming for us as a hint, as a, as a, as a reminder for us to know that we got that blessing and tool. And like Rabbi Nachman of Breslev that we just read from Torah 100 in the second part of Likutei Moran is saying that the main way that most of the righteous people achieved their level, small people and large people, great people, known and famous, wealthy, strong, powerful, geniuses and wise, and small and poor and simple and, and broken and ill and weak people, all of them to reach high levels and to achieve purity and holiness, the main way to achieve that is through the individual prayer that you talk to Hashem like you talk to your best friend. And the most simple way to do so is to take yourself to a quiet place, to your own room, to your own porch, to your backyard, to your front yard, to the to the, to the field in front of your house, to the streets in hours that are not so busy, and just to speak with the Creator like you speak to your best friend, with great honor, with admiration, with great love, with great hopes, and to talk about what that is shining in your heart in the current time, in the present time. Speak about now. I don't know Hashem and I feel so lonely and I need your help and I need you to assist me and look at me and I need some more money and I need salvations and I need to get married and I need to build that house. 
you need to talk about your situation. I'm so scared and those neighbors and they're messing up with the fence and I don't know what to do. And please Hashem, they're touching my things and I don't know what will happen. And please Hashem, can I find a job? Help me to find a job in better hours. I need to move. I want to convert. I want to do tshuva. I want to learn Torah. Please Hashem, heal me, protect me. One side of the prayers. Second side of the prayer is to remember that there is a whole world around you that you have certain responsibility to help them all and to heal them and to assist them. Please Hashem, help my wife. Please Hashem, help my husband. Please Hashem, help my child. Please Hashem, help my children. Please Hashem, help my friends. Please Hashem, help my family, my larger family. Please Hashem, my neighbors, they need help. Please the nation of Israel, support them. Please the people who lives in Zion, the people who lives in that place. Please the Jewish people in the US, the Jewish people in South Africa. Please Hashem, we olam. All those simple requests. And you know what is the best? That when you don't have prayers and you don't have a clue what to speak about because you said already, Hi Hashem, Shalom, how are you? I'm sorry, thank you. Please help me. Heal me, heal my wife, make us happy. We want to be good. Uh, help us to do tshuva. And now you're stuck with no words and you don't know what to talk about. That is the time to talk about that. Tell Hashem, please Hashem, I don't know what to say. I'm standing here and I already found that opportunity to talk to you, but I don't have words. I, my mind is blank. My heart is empty. I feel so hollow and, 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 and lost. I don't know what to speak about. Please Hashem, let me pray. Please Hashem, let me talk. Please Hashem, give me words. Please Hashem, Sfatai Tiftach, open my lips and my mouth will praise you. Help me to pray. And you should pray in your own language. You should pray in the language that flows the, the best for you. That the words will pour out of your heart like water pours out from, from in, in the river, from the spring. You need to allow the truth to come out of your heart like water that are running down the stream. Talk your words, please Hashem, I don't know what to do. Please Hashem, help me forever. Save me, protect me, heal me, support me. Establish, build, design, create, do, help, save me. I'm terrified, I'm lost, I'm lonely, I don't know. I'm blaming myself, I hate myself, I want to love myself. And on and on and on. Words that comes with truth honestly out from your heart through your mouth are the closest one to be answered like the verse is saying Hashem is close to everyone to everyone that will call him with truth and a person who is lying cannot stand in front of Hashem means that when he pray Hashem so to speak is not there Hashem is not looking to that prayer you should be truthful please Hashem let me pray with truth please Hashem help me that my words will be words of truth so for an example, you cannot pray on things that are not really inside of your heart. Hashem, I don't want to eat ever again. Hashem, I want to be clean from all lusts and desires that my eyes will never see. No shape of no human, of no woman, that I will never touch anything in my life, that I will be like Elijah the prophet. You don't want to be like Elijah the prophet and you don't want to stop eating, that I'll never sleep. No, you want to sleep, be honest. Say to Hashem, Hashem, I'm bothered from my craziness. Things are making me crazy. I find myself so broken and lonely and in dark, horrible, bitter despair. Heal me, protect me. Instead of making up stories like you desire to be the most righteous one of them all, but just Hashem is stopping you with his horrible obstacles, that's not the truth. The truth is that we need to work on our will to want more and to pray more and to desire more. And sometimes, like I said a few times in the past, when you find yourself that you don't want enough, you should want to want. If you find yourself that you want to say to Hashem, Hashem, I want to learn Torah, but then you find that honestly, you don't really want to learn so much. It's, it doesn't really do that to you. So you can say that to Hashem. Please Hashem, I wanted to say I want to learn Torah, but really 
I don't find the taste, I don't find the pleasure, I don't find the satisfaction. I open the book, I read some verses, it doesn't talk to me so much, it doesn't speak to me so much, it doesn't get into my heart. Hashem, can you help me to feel the taste of the Torah? Can you make the Torah sweeter for me, that I'll enjoy learning, that it will satisfy me? I see people learning, I hear people praying. Can you help me to understand, to feel the taste of prayer? Here now I'm praying and I don't feel no taste. Can you help me to feel some? What does it mean spirituality? What does it mean to live life with Hashem? What does it mean to serve Hashem? Can you explain to me what it means to serve Hashem? La'avodet Hashem, avodat Hashem? Simple requests that are coming out from the heart, that are prayers of truth, will surely be answered. You should count on that. And pray for our siblings. Pray for everyone that are in great need, that needs our salvation, that need our redemption, that they need miracles and wonders in their lives. Like all many, many people that I'm thinking of while we speak right now, that my heart comes out for them in prayers on a daily basis. Praying for so many people because people are in great need and what can we do? If you don't have enough money to pay all their debts, if you don't have healing in your hand to heal them all, at least you can pray and ask from Hashem, please Hashem, Ana Hashem Oshiana, Ana Hashem Atzlichana, help us, protect us, heal us, support us and may all our prayers be answered in no time, in our days, in front of our eyes, around us hugged and loved by all our loved ones together as one. Amen. Can you hear that song? Thank you. Thank you. You know me, my name is RDMC with the Muna Project. All the nations with me. Close your eyes. Just breathe, see the truth. Don't chase the fake world, don't buy the fake news. Be yourself, your own true self. Don't let no one take our natural wealth. See the good, no fear, no despair. Cherish who that you are and share. Source of power from an endless spring. Light up courage in yourself. You they can kick you down to the ground. Hold yourself up till you are put up your crown. King of the creator, holy soul inside. Focus on the